driving? No, not really. I'll call your father then. No. I can see Jane. Oi! Want a word with you? Ah. And where do you think of going? Fishing. Now, don't get lippy. Well, I'm going to school, aren't I? You don't normally leave for another 20 minutes. Well, I want a can of Coke for me break. We've got Coke here. I like the cherry flavour. Oh, I see. And the only place you can get that is creeps. Oh, yeah. Son, I want to worry you about that. About cherry flavoured Coke? About the Kareems. What about them? Well, I... Oh, not now. I'm out here, Mum. Oh, there you are, Frank. Look at our brought you. Oh. Nothing like a good cooked breakfast. Mum, turn it in. And it's your dad's favourite. I told you, I don't eat much in the way of breakfast these days, love. You get much chance from what I've seen. Too early for visitors, isn't it? Something special for Frank's breakfast. Oh, yeah, soft boiled eggs with a little buttered salt. All right, all right. Sausage sandwiches with brown sauce. That'll put lining on your stomach. Rather you than me. Son, get your lunch time. You be all here, right. yeah? Have yeah, you done your paper round yet? Oh, we'll go, Grant. See you later. I just go and pop these under the grill. And there's no need to thank me. I like looking after people. Which is more than I could say for some. Mum, Pat does all right. This place takes a lot of running. Not that I'm talking out of turn, Frank, but... I actually spent all day with that den last week. Well, they can't do much with a prison grill between them, can they, Mum? Didn't think she got on that well with him when he was here. Well, they didn't, they didn't. They had a love-hate relationship. What do you want to see so much of him now for? Will you please leave it to me? Not that I'm interfering, Frank, but... a mother does have instincts about these things. No, that's far too big. This one, then. Oh, that ain't very impressive, is it? What size do you want? Well, you know the sort the reporters use on TV, you know, with that nice ring bind along the top so they can click over the pages quickly when they're talking to the Prime Minister. Well, the only other one we've got is this. Oh, well, I mean, that's the sort the kids use. That's going to look odd when I'm doing me interviews. Interviews? Mm -hmm. Some interview and everybody on the square. What for? To build up a dossier of everybody's movements over the past few days. Why? Well, for the neighbourhood, why not? I'm helping the police track down them people who had done that burglary last Thursday. Oh. Yes, well, I mean, if the police know everybody's movements, that'll give them an head start. You ain't got one of them proper reporters' notebooks, have you? Sorry. Here, yeah, do you know I see that Inspector Clues? I used one of these on the telly once. An inspector? Yeah. Oh, well, it was good enough for him. <laughs> Where was you last Thursday night? Hey? Oh, I'm. So was I. Ricky and Shireen at home. Yeah, not together. <laughs> no, of course not. Well, I'd better get on with it, yep. haven't I? Bye. Bye. I thought you'd never come yeah, in. I'm sorry I got delayed. Dad will be back in a few minutes. There's a band on at the town hall tonight. Do you fancy coming? What time? We'll be back by half nine, ten, the latest. I don't know. You could always say you're babysitting again. Don't know. Come on. Yeah, all right. All right, I'll see you about eight then, yeah? Not here. I know, Wolford High Street. See you later. Yeah. Mrs. Cotton! Rab. How long are these monkeys going to be here? They're just putting up the ring. I don't want them round the customers. Yeah, they're noticed. When are the actual boxes arriving? Six. A gypsy boy will be about half past, give the rest of them time to warm up. You'll need it with him. Really? He was a tight contender, you know, pretty tasty. So what's he doing fighting bare knuckle? Lost his licence last year, failed a brain scan. What? Ah, it's all right. Just can't fight the fishing anymore, so he has to moonlight a bit. What do you want me for, anyway? I don't like this entertainment we're staging here tonight. They're entitled. The bank job was a result. Do you know why, Brad? Because it was exceptionally well organised. Yeah. It was properly controlled and carried out with precision. I said they did a good job. It takes brains organising something like that. I can admire that sort of intelligence. But what I can't admire is the mindless, stupid villain who could wreck everything for one greedy impulse. Nah, of course not. I'm so pleased you agree with me. You know me. Company man, right down the line. Let's hope so. So there'll be no attempts at moonlighting tonight on anyone's part. You got me wrong, Joanne. Chop my hands off if I ever get out of line. Yeah, Brad, we probably would. 
flipping Kew Gardens, innit? Well, I had to put them all out, didn't I? You ain't gonna wander around looking for them all. Yeah, hold on, this ain't a plant, it's a triffid. Oh, that one needs watering every two days. You're joking, right? if I go near this, it'll take my hand off. Ian, I'm not in the mood. Mum, do I really have to walk all these? It's gonna take me hours. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it ain't worth all the effort. Huh? Well, look at all this lot. I mean, am I gonna get ready for us to go at eight o'clock tonight? I thought they'd have packed his stuff. Oh, we did, yeah. And look what he used. <laughs> Only he couldn't get all his shoes in this, so he used these two and all. And when I did find out what he actually had packed, I found all this lot. I mean, look, it, I, you could just see him, can't you? Left himself, he'd be sitting on that beach in a woolly jumper and a pair of leather brogues. Well, I mean, you are still going, aren't you? I mean, everything's paid up and all. Let's just say I'm going off the idea very rapidly. Well, do you want me to give you a bit of packing, then? Oh, what's your game? Well, nothing. You seem very bothered about this holiday all of a sudden. Well, I just know how much you've been looking forward to it, that's all. Oh, yeah. And just exactly what have you been looking forward to? Nothing. Well, I thought it'd be a chance to experiment with a few new dishes. Oh, that's all you want to experiment with? Oh, of course. And no repetitions that business with Simon the other night? <laughs> all I did was take her back for a cup of coffee. Yeah, very likely story. Anyway, your Aunt Pauline said any more of that and you're out in your ear. Hey, it weren't me, it was Simon. Look, Mum, he thinks he's God's gift to women. Cindy gives him the elbow and he goes up the wall. Look, I'm not saying Cindy's a bad girl. I just don't want her back here while we're away, that's all. Mum, I've told you. All I want to do is experiment with a few new exotic dishes. Yeah, that's what worries me. Mmm, that's great. Yeah, it's a good job I came back for that file. Oh, this muscle's terribly knotted. Yeah, well, blame Vicky. She kept me up half the night. She got out of bed and got in with me. Oh. And I spent half the night hanging over the side of the bed. <laughs> How is it that someone so small can take up so much room? Listen, I finished typing those notes for you. They're on the kitchen table. Oh, good. Listen, uh, I've got a muscle relaxant here. This, uh, this might help, too. OK. Shell. OK, hold still a minute. This, uh, this might burn a bit. Oh, oh. oh sorry. Oh, that's all right. I've nearly, uh, nearly finished, uh, Mrs Fowler. Is that any better? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Oh, Listen, good. I've put an index with those notes to help you find your way around them. Oh, good. What, uh, what would we do without her, eh? Mm. Right, well, I'll see you later then. See okay? you later. Right, bye, bye. Mrs. Fowler. Bye. You all right then? Yeah, just a bit of muscle strain, that's all. Two cheese and onion baps, please, Annie. Fresh out of them, mate. Oh, what? Look, you'll be back in a minute and then I'll have the new supply in. How long? It should have been back five minutes ago. Oh, oh no. Oh, good. Matty, it will do. Do for what? Dot, I don't like you harassing my customers. Now, what's going on over at the laundrette, eh? Well, Ethel's keeping an eye on things for me, and I'm sure Matthew don't mind answering a few questions, do you, Matthew? What are you selling, Dot? <laughs> you regret this, mate. Then why are you taking that attitude, Ali? I'm only carrying out my elected duty. Oh, yeah, Shireen was looking for you earlier. Did you see her? No. Yeah, down the shop before school, she asked if I'd seen you. Oh, she's probably remembered something. I'll make a note of it. Oh, you're writing everything down these days, aren't Everything of importance, yes. Where was you on Thursday night? That's important, is it? Oh, certainly it is. I'm building up a picture of people's movements. Thursday night. Midnight. I was in bed. Why? People get so suspicious, even when I ask the simplest of questions. I'm only trying to eliminate them as criminals. Oh, and you think I might be a criminal? There you go to, you see. Now, if you was in the square at that time, you might have seen something. Well, I didn't, I wasn't, and I haven't. Doc, oh. you're blocking the doorway. Well, if I stand here, I can interview people as they come in. But you're going to stand here all morning? Of course not, only an hour or so. Doc, this is not a police interview room. You see what I mean? People try to perform their public spirited service, and all they encounter is hostility. I can't feel like me, see why you're getting so shirty, Ali. Oh, you can't, Doc, huh? For the past half hour, I've served one cup of tea to the Phantom of Albert Square, and the rest of my customers have been frightened off by you asking them questions about what they were doing last week. People have, must have very guilty consciences round here, that's all I can say. Look, that's not the point. Uh, I'll pop back for those rolls, all right? <laughs> Look, it, it'll only be a second. It's just... <sighs> Thanks, Doc. What have I done now? Mike, your sister might be wrong, figure. Mike, Ian, you might be in. Oh, don't tell me, two cheese and onion on the wheel. Yeah. Oh, no, he's all delivery rules. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll do you one in about 20 minutes when I finish this lot, OK? Yeah, OK, then. Right. Oh, no, on second thoughts, will you make it a uh, salami and pickle? Yeah, all right, no trouble, it's fine. Yeah, well, cheers, on mate. third thoughts, can you cancel the order completely? Huh? Matthew has other plans for lunch. Have I? Yep. Sorry, sudden impulse. Oh. Yeah, Pat, what's me down? He's out on the track. Yeah, what are you doing? Oi, it's the too late for the Olympics. Ricky! <laughs> Simon, about that for a minute. Calm down, calm down. What's the problem? Frank, what's the matter? That's what I'm trying to find out. It takes two minutes to get his breath. I've got the trial. Here's his time this morning. Well done, what's sir. What trial? Ricky's got a trial for the district. Oh, football? Yeah. Might have been his spelled the way it come dashing in here. It's important. I'm sure it is. It's a pity you don't get this excited about your schoolwork. Well, give him a break, Pat. Don't you think it's time he found something else in life that was interesting? I'm interested in other things. Yeah, I'm sure. I think that's something else your dad wants to talk to you about. Now's as good a time as any, Frank. Thanks. 
Doesn't he usually dress like this, though? Who, Connie? No, he's strictly a jeans and t-shirts, mate. Me? And he walked in at dinner last week looking like a real toff. Never. Yeah, and you know the first person I met was Mags, didn't I tell you? No. She looks great. Seems to be doing well, also. Nice. Sit down, shall we? You see something? It's about the other night. What about it? Well, you and Shireen babysitting. How did you know about that? Look, it's not me knowing you've got to worry about. What about her, Dad? Yeah, well... Now, you know what they're like with their daughters, don't we're you? We were only babysitting. Well, you kept it pretty quiet for all that, why didn't you? Well, as you said, her dad would go spare. Look, son, I'm not saying that you did anything wrong. We did. I'm not saying you did, but you're getting to the age now where you, you need a bit of responsibility. What about? Well, everything. No, I don't understand. Oh, Ricky, uh... You're not making this easy for me, son, are you? Well, I don't know you're going on about us all, Dad. Don't even ask Mr. Bloom where he was last Thursday night. Who was that? She's eliminating suspects. The trouble is, I can't remember where I was, so I think I'm still on the list. Thank you. Now, let me put it this way, mate. You've seen those adverts on television, yeah? Which ones? The things we've got in the jets. Oh, toilet rolls. Now, don't wind me up, Ricky. I don't know what you're going on about, Dad. If you're seeing a girl on a regular basis on your own of a night time, well, you, you've got to take precautions these days. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not that old, I can't remember what it was like. But I haven't done anything. No, but if you're anything like I was at your age, it wouldn't be for the one to try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the old man could tell you a few stories. But that's not the point. What I'm trying to say is that you've got to be careful. It's no good closing the stable door after the horse has bolted, is it? And what the bottom line is that well, sooner or later, you'll get married and you want kids of your own. Until that time, you've got to take care and you've got to take precautions. And that is what Pat really wanted me to tell you, sir. Frank? Yes? A word now. Ricky, back to school. I know. Can we get it yet? Grab a couple of rolls on the way out. Rolls again. I'm fine there, babe. Just... What's the matter? Look, I think we ought to get things up on a proper footing. Oh, yeah? You know, business-like. Go on. Harry at the bookies wants four more salad rolls. Yeah, all right, mate. In a minute, in a minute. Come on, then, for customers. That's going to be there all day, aren't they? Do you mind? I'm talking. I'll do them in a minute, OK? All right, I'll get over here. Look, what I reckon we ought to do is form a proper company. Why? Well, it's tax advantages, isn't it? We're making money. Well, what do you know about tax? Well, nothing yet, but look, I don't want to spend the rest of my life looking at salad rolls from Harry the Boogie. So what do you say? Do you reckon we ought to do it from the start? Well, if you form a company, does that make me a director? Well, chairman. Well, in your case, maybe vice chairman. Excuse me. Oh, God, it's worse than King's Cross in the rush out. I'll sit down. With the wine bar tonight? No, look, I'll see you in the pick about six. I don't finish here till seven. All right, seven. No, we could do something quiet in a bit. This is confidential, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not very quiet at my place, not with my man. It is at mine. You must be joking after the other night. No, my mum and dad's a go away tonight, didn't they? Oh, I see. And I've still got the key, so, uh, what do you say? All right. Ian, those salad rolls, mate. Yeah, all right, in a minute, OK? Oh, I'm right. coming. See you later, all right? I'm coming, all right? We agreed I should have a chat. That was not a chat, Frank. That was an illustrated lecture on how to get your girlfriend into bed without putting up with the consequences. No, it wasn't. And anyway, do you want him to pay for the consequences? He's age. You shouldn't even be thinking about well, him. He obviously is my donor. That's why I thought it'd be a good idea to teach him a bit of responsibility. Responsibility? Send him out on dates with his pocket stuffed full of condoms. I thought that's what we agreed. Ah. We agreed that you should talk to him about the trouble he can get into alone with girls. And that is what I did. I've gone to trouble myself. I know what can happen. Uh, and one of your boyfriends had fathers like me who spoke to him the way I spoke to Ricky. Look, the best way of staying out of trouble is not to get into it in the first oh, place. Babe. That's what you should have told him. Oh, and at 16 years old, you would have listened, would you? Well. Exactly. Excuse me. Oh, oh sorry. No problem. Relax. It's all right. I'm, uh, I'm trying. Oh. Yeah, but it's your birthday. Uh, that was last week. Mm, I'm still celebrating. Look, if I don't go to work, how am I meant to favour this lot? It's my treat, remember? All right, I'll pay, as long as you come ice skating. I was roller skating. Oh, well, look, anything. So long as it's not work and we're doing it together. You know what I mean? I can always get you drunk. What? You say yes to anything when you're drunk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Everything right? Oh, uh, yeah, fine, fine, thanks. Oh, um, sorry, this is uh, Guido, Guido Smith, uh, Joanne. An excellent meal. Tell you the truth, I was quite surprised. Oh, we've learned a few things here in the East End. <laughs> You're hardly an East Ender. I could be shortly. I may be moving into the square, flat above Sharon's. Ah. Well, hope we see you again. Not exactly representative of the people around here. No, I gathered that. But you get on well with them, the real ones. Um, well, I get a, a bit mad at times, but... Yeah, yeah, I suppose I do. 
What about your love life, Colin? I beg your pardon. Were your last one, for example? When did that end? Not very long ago, from what I can see. Look, I don't. <coughs> My guess is it hurt too. Sorry, Colin. You've been as edgy as hell all the time we've been out. Seems to me this is one of your first dates since. Look, um, it's just that I've had a bit of other trouble recently. I'm not normally as as clumsy as I It's made you much too serious. Isn't it good to be serious? Not all the time. I see. Look, let's get a few things straight, shall we? I like you. I like your company. But let's not get too intense about things just yet, mate. Yeah, I found it just after you left. Oh, thanks. I'll take it round. I found this and all. Any good? Yeah, I'll take that round and all. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Shoot, it's in the walls. How's your neck? It's fine now. I told you it was good, didn't I? Hmm. Funny, you always did go for older men, didn't you? The only one you ever found near your own age, you got rid of. I'm going to work. I had a word with Mr. Vinnegan. Has he come up with the goods? He wasn't very pleased. I wasn't expecting him to down said jig, I just want the money. Mr. Vinnegan is a very busy man. He has a lot of important projects to work on at the moment, and frankly, Mr. Watts, he doesn't want to be bothered with you making fresh demands every week. You're doing him a favour. Which are being adequately paid. Of course, it has been mentioned that there might be quicker, simpler methods of dealing with you. But I'm sure they won't be necessary. Are you telling me I can't have the money? Ten grand's got to be peanuts to him. He's got to spend that much on parties every week at his gaff. You'll get the money, and I think he's been very generous in that respect. I can't imagine what sorts of problems you think an 18-year-old girl can get into that need that sort of cash. I just want to make sure she's looked after, that's all. She will be. We're a lot less happy about the involvement of Mrs. Wicks. That's all right. How much does she know about the organisation? Nothing. Sweet Fanny Adams. She's just looking after my interests, that's all. It seems as if you don't trust us, Mr. Watts. I don't trust anybody. Fair enough. But you must realise that we're under no obligation to her. If she should become an irritation... I've just told you. Pat's OK. Well, I hope for her sake that's true. Oh, well, going so soon. We haven't anything else to discuss, have we? How about all these police visits? What about them? It's what you're paid for. Well, you get a bit happy. Well, if they ask questions that you don't like, either refuse to answer or refer them to me. If you can't cope with the Walford police, I really think we're wasting our money. Oh, come on. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Please don't expect me to visit too often. I have a lot of other cases to look after. It's hardly worth going back to work now. I've already told you once I'm not going roller skating or ice skating or any other activity where I'm liable to end up on my butt. Oh, that was paid to my next idea then. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be ministering to my flock, so I'll see you when I'm sick. Spoil sport. Well, I've enjoyed it, Colin. Thanks. But how about uh, coffee? <laughs> I've had coffee. Uh, just my place, I was wondering. As I said, one stage at a time, eh? Yeah, yeah, of course. Maybe next time. What do you want, Donna? Look, I'm sorry if I sound rude, but I've got a lot to do. I haven't seen Pete all day and we go in a couple of hours. I just wanted to wish you the best for your holiday. Yeah, well, thanks very much. No, I mean it. It's been a tough few weeks. Yeah, very. And if there's anything I can do... Thanks, Donna, but just a breakaway is all I need right now. I quite envy you, actually. We're not going to the rich, you know. In fact, I don't actually know where we are going. Yeah, well, it's got to be better than my squat, hasn't it? You can always go home. Round here is my home. Actually, Kathy, there was something I wanted to ask you. What? You know, I said I'd like a change of scene for a few days. Donna, what? this is supposed to be a second honeymoon. I don't really think Pete would appreciate no, you tagging along. It's just that the squat's really getting me down, Kathy. And like I said, you could always go home. Yeah, but this place is going to be empty, isn't it? You can't be serious. I'm desperate, Kathy. I'm sorry, no. Ian's got a key. Ian is staying at Pauline's. Oh, you think so, do you? Yes, I do. Well, that's not the impression he gave to Cindy. Ian has only got a key so he can use the cooker. Have you asked him what's on the menu? Now, listen, Donna, I've already told Ian that when I'm away, there's going to be no funny business going on here. And I'm telling you that this place is not going to be used as a squat. Star of the show's arrived, I see. How much are you paying this gypsy boy tonight? Three hundred, as usual. What? We'll make ten times that once the betting starts. The person who's running the book. I assumed Brad. Oh, no. I think we have problems with Brad. It's just that he's getting impatient for being part of the team. Undisciplined. I have tried to tell him. So what do you want to do? 
If it remains a problem, I don't think we have a choice, do you? Agreed. Right, other business. Haulage on the Albert Square site. I think we should be assisting in the fight to bring life into an area of inner city deprivation, don't you? Down from Gosling's for you. What's the decision on the cargo? Risky. Depends how it's packaged. How many runs a week? Six regular returns to Dover, one each fortnight to Liverpool. Storage? On site for the ordinary, the special consignments can come down here. Joanne. Ooh. I'm uh, taking Gypsy Boy out for a drink. He swings better with a bit of lubrication. Right. Or at least it don't hurt so much when he falls. Yeah. Well, if things do get a bit warm, we can always ask Brad to do a little driving. Yeah. Have you seen Martin? She paid her lightning visit. She couldn't wait to shake the dust from this place off her feet. Well, you can't bear her back, can you? I gather she brought you some good news. About the money, yeah. You've got nothing to worry about, have you? I wouldn't say that. Well, I'm not going to turn into a winter, are you, Dennis? I can't bear people are always moaning. Shut it, faggot. Charming. I'm worried about all these police visits. I think they're planning to fit me up with something. I'm just chancing their arms. No need to get your knickers in a twist. It's all right for you. I came in here looking at a three to five. Two or three we could be over. There's no way in ten going out of here, an old man. Queenie's quite right. They're only chance in their arm. And if they're not? I reckon I can refuse to see them. I can do that, can't I? As a remand prisoner, yeah. But it wouldn't make you very popular with the firm. You see, if you refuse a police visit, we're going to start digging up things around Wolford. And you won't exactly be given for value for money, will you? So how am I supposed to stop them fitting me up then? Ask oh, so for a screw to be present at your next visit. Oh, that's going to make a huge difference, that is. Might do if you get Crane. He hates us, but he hates the police even more after they turned him down. So yes, he's, and he's a stickler for doing things like He's not going to let them fit you up now, is he? Happy now? Oh, I don't know. Well, you better be. Listen, the firm and this prison doesn't revolve around you, Sunshine. As Queenie says, we don't like murders. You've got a job to do, so do it. We'll take the consequences. Lunch wasn't that bad, was it? Uh, oh, no. How were your sausages? I bet they did you better than that last week. Yeah. Did she mention another old mate? No, sorry, Wixie, she didn't. What, you're not doing too well recently? No, well, Cindy seems more interested in baked Alaska at the moment. Oh, well, more pebbles on the beach. Yeah, we'll try things well out for me. That's why we strike up the band. Hey, oh, Colin. Hi. I've got some of your newsletter, mate. Oh, all right, I'll have a look at it later, Frank. Have a look there, I'll take a minute. All right. <laughs> Like a vulture ready to pounce. No, I told her there was nothing in it. What? Well, then, you know, that you just went to visit an old mate. It just sort of came up in conversation, mate. I bet it did. I'm sorry, Frank, but what's this got to do with Neighbourhood Watch? Well, it's local interest, isn't it? What, Ricky getting a trial for the district football team? Well, this letter is supposed to, to stimulate the centre community. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is a great example. But an example for what? Well, get the, uh, getting the youngsters and they, you know, interested in sport. And they won't be interested in crime, will they? I'll, I'll have a think about it, OK? Yeah. All right, come on, Simon. Simon, the only time I can catch you seems to be in the air or in the middle of the night. Yeah, but I did apologise for that, didn't I? Yes, and so did Ian, but the point is, what have you done about it? Well, it won't happen again. But it will. Why are you both under the same roof and chasing after the same girl? I've got to go. Simon, I mean it now. Put it right, you can find somewhere else to live. Tomato juice. Pushing the boat out a bit. When's all I can afford? Yeah, we've all got our troubles, Donna. Don't start about yours, else someone will throw you out again. Well, I'm used to that. Anyway, at least you've got a home. Yeah, not for much longer. Come on, Paulie, you'll never kick you out. Pete will always put you up if you're really stuck, not like me. Right, well, after the way things are going, you know, what I want, right, is a bit of peace in a nice, quiet little flat. Yeah, so do I, but Cathy said no way, and no keys either. Oh, yeah, no, I've still got a set, haven't I? Have you? Yeah, and no one's going to be staying there for a while. Apart from the fact that I heard Ian talking to Cindy well, about... No, no, nothing. I'm sure you're right. No one's using it at all. I can't find the passports anywhere. Give it here, Kath. I'll find them. Well, there's the tickets and the traveller's oh. checks. At least ain't lost those. Yeah, and this is for you. It's not much, but it might make the holiday a bit more special. Oh, damn it, you pop. 30 quid, Paul. I can't take your money. It's not. Look, Kath, Mum left me a bit of money. Not much, but it was to help out members of the family when they needed it, sir. So. I'm only going on holiday. Yeah? 
And after what you've been through, now just take it, I won't hear another word. Oh, Mum, the taxi's here. He's honked a couple of times and Dad says unless you hurry up, it's going to cost more than the holiday itself. Yeah, but the passports aren't here. We gave them to Dad. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Paul, I forgot. Okay. All right, then off we go. Now, listen, you look after this place and look after yourself. Oh, and remember yeah. what I said, no funny oh, business. All right, all take right. care, mate. Right, have a nice time. See you. Bye. Bye. Now, I've interviewed nearly everyone in the square. And what's your conclusion, Don? Who's the thief? Well, that's just the trouble. I don't seem to have got much further forward. Well, they're not likely to tell you when they're going out burgling, are they? Did you ask how many of them knew these Pattersons were going away? Oh, well, no, I never thought of that. Well, it can't be many, because they only decided to go at the last minute. That's right, because they told me in here just before they went. Well, who else was in here when they were telling you? Oh, I can't think. Oh, come on, Dot, it might be a clue. Oh, here, Pauline. Who was in here with us last week when the Pattersons told us they was going on holiday? Can't remember why. Because you might have been rubbing shoulders with the actual burglars. Mm. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me, not round here the way things are today. Mm. There was crime round here in the old days too, Pauline, be fair. Yeah, but at least then we didn't have to worry about locking our back door for fear of being mm. robbed or mugged or worse. Yes, but the papers say it's due to the rising in lawlessness. Yes, but that's why I'm doing my neighbourhood watch programme. God, it's terrible, isn't it? We ought to be able to trust each other. We shouldn't have to watch people. Yeah. Those days are dead and gone, I'm afraid. Mrs Cotton, can I have a word of you, please? Some of us can still count ourselves as trustworthy. Mm. Was you looking for me, dear? Because uh, I wondered if you'd remembered something about last Thursday. Well, not exactly. Mm. That notebook. You mm. went off without paying for it. I'm all ducked. <laughs> executives do, didn't they? Well, I thought we were going to chat about our company. We are. Yeah, when? Well, not right now. Who's right? that? What the bloody hell are you doing here? There's no need to ask you that, is there, Ian? Ian! What? Blimey. Oh, no!